which was last week, I had a set of activities that I wanted to uh, uh, to do, and I ran out of time, and therefore I'm making a video clip of all these three activities. Uh, this one is the one on the right hand side, which I would like to refer to it as a bent rod. Okay, I will totally ignore the dimensions, so let's go to uh, Katia program, and we start with a, a new part file. So let's get a part right there. And uh, on a convenient plane, on this uh, horizontal plane, XY plane, I will sketch a circle like that. Uh, let's not worry about the dimension. Exit. And if I pad this thing now, if I pad this, uh, what I will get is a cylinder which goes straight up. So I don't want to pad it because I want it to go along a, 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 a path. And in many software, this is called the uh, ex extrusion process or ex ex extrusion uh, uh, unit. However, in Katia, it's called rip right there. So let me uh, create that path that I want this thing to be extruded along. So on the vertical plane, on this vertical plane, I will sketch the path that I would like this thing to be traversed. So, for example, here, go up. Uh, well, okay, so fine. Uh, something like that. And we can give it a fillet. Uh, let's see now, where is that? The fillet right here. So, let me make a fillet here. Yeah, that's good. Good. Now, we exit this. And we use the rip operation. Now keep in mind, if uh, if this spine or path is uh, you know something weird, or if this is too too big, then obviously it may fail. Which is fine. We're gonna we're gonna change the the size of the circle. So let's try it. Uh, we're gonna do a rip uh, under the sketch base feature. It says profile, the profile that you want to uh, pa uh, rip is uh, this circle. And the center curve, which or the spine, is right there. And we say, OK. So that base basically takes care of this particular activity. Now, th there is one thing I want to try, though. So let, let us actually go back to that sketch. Let's also go back to that sketch, sketch number one. Now notice that I did create a circle, and uh, the the path I made it go through the origin here. So let me make another circle, another circle. For example, uh, something here doesn't matter. Exit. Oh, uh, I see what the issue is. So let me undo this. I'm oh, sorry. Let me go back to that sketch. Uh, let me see. Okay, it didn't pad the other one, rip the other one anyway. So that's okay. So uh, let me exit. Let's try it one more time. Okay, on a, again, on a convenient plane, on the horizontal plane, I will sketch. Now this is going to be different from that circle that I already drew. So let me draw, you know, some another circle over here. Exit. Okay, right, like that. Now notice that the spine is not starting at the origin of the circle. It's already right here. It starts at the origin of this circle. So let me see what happens if we do a rib of this sketch along that spine uh, or center curve. So uh, let's do a rib. Uh, profile is this. And for uh, center curve is sketch number two. You see, there are some issues here. Perhaps because this is too far from that, so cancel that. Let's go back to that sketch and move this circle to some other location, maybe closer to this. Let's see what happens. Exit. And now rip that sketch uh, along the uh, sketch which is the spine. So one has to be careful because in principle, extrusion 
is in some of the software may behave differently. Uh, but uh, sure enough, here uh, uh, there are some issues involved, involved that one has to take care of. Let's do one more thing. Let's go here. And this time, I'm going to make sure that this curve is actually sitting or coincident with that point. So control this and make it a coincident. So this time the the spine is actually, or the center curve is actually going through the boundary of that. Let's see if it ribs it now. Ribs along that sketch two. Yeah, so uh, what does the error message say? Uh, along uh, sketch two, torus creation, the parameters defines a, a self-intersecting service. Okay, so uh, all I wanted to do to tell you that there was a reason that I actually uh, made the center curve go through the origin of uh, that uh, circle. Let's do it one more try. Okay, one more try. Cancel this. Go back to that sketch three. Now, let us actually, uh, this constraint that I make here, this last constraint that I make here, uh, I'm going to delete that. Because I want the circle to be closer to the spine so that the spine is actually originally inside of this. Let's see if this is uh, possible. So uh, we go a uh, rip. Of course, sketch three along sketch two. So obviously, uh, these are creating uh, some uh, issues with uh, uh, the, the rib operation. So uh, uh, that's pretty much it. Spine, uh, the, well, the, the, the rib op ribbing operation is simple as long as one is careful on how to create the center curve. Okay?